Parental advisory notice, the video contains strong language. Yo, bro, word to my dad, bro, I can outsmoke you. You do not smoke more weed than me, bro. I promise you that. Okay. okay. So? So, get your lungs up, little nigga. Fuck, bro. And I got more mirrors than you. I promise you I got more Gucci pants than you, bro. Niggas is wild on this block, bro. You do not do Why better than me. Why is that even a competition? I don't want to compete with you on that. It's not that you don't want to, because you can't, bro. You just simply cannot. You can't fuck with me on them shits, bro. Niggas what? Wild I don't understand bro. that. Woo. You not popping more bottles than me in the club. Well, you're, you're 26. Like... Why are these the things you want to compete about? Go get a job. Fuck, I need a job for when the block is hiring, nigga. What's going on? Yo, this is the real world that we living in. What is going on? People are trying to compete with you on social media. They're trying to make sure they got more designer bags than you. They want to have a better car than you that they're leasing and renting. Family, social media is fake. This is not the real world. We need to compete. Not about how many Gucci jeans you have, how many Gucci belts you have, how many Louis V this, that. Again, nobody's trying to get sued, Louis and Gucci. We just using you as an example. But I say all of that to say, a lot of y'all don't even know that people are trying to compete with you. People that don't even like you might even be trying to compete with you. What we need to compete on is, am I better than I was yesterday? Am I 1% better than I was yesterday? If I'm an investor, am I 1% better at investing? If I was learning how to use a stop loss, am I 1% better at using a stop loss? Am I $1 richer tomorrow? That's what we need to be competing on, but not with other people. We need to compete with ourselves. So I say all of that to say, I want to see you win, family, and I want to see you win for the long term. Let's get into the video. And if you have any videos that you feel would be great for opening up the videos, what I want you to do is go ahead and follow me on Instagram and send them to me over there. I've been getting a lot of them sent to me. And this is me, Keenan Grace One. There are a lot of imposters, but I'm Keenan Grace One. And I have 39,000 followers at the time of this recording. So you can go ahead and follow me over there and send me anything that you see that you think that would be great for opening up a video like you just saw. So now I say all of that to say this episode is brought to you by the Stock Squad. What I want you to do is start to learn and invest in yourself. Get a mentor, maybe get four mentors and watch me, Larry, Mo, and Josh help you to be more financially literate. And again, you can come over there and join for $20 and you can see when we get into plays. You can see when we buy stocks. You can see when we buy options. I will see you over there. Now, let's get into the rest of the video. And we got to talk about the national debt. That's the first thing we're going to get into. And then we're going to get into two newer stocks because so many people are saying, how do they play it? What's going on with it? Is it a long-term hold? Is it a trade? What to do? And I got you back on that. Now, I want to say this, the national debt, this is the United States, in fact, and we have just hit a national milestone, a bad milestone of $33 trillion in debt for the very first time, aka the government is spending their money like a toddler with an unlimited bank account, family. They being reckless and they have to be more reckless in the future to uphold the reckless behavior. So it's only going to get worse. Let's just keep it real and let's keep it raw. But I want you to just see what 33 exactly what it is look at this 33 trillion i don't even know this is the one of the biggest numbers i ever ever seen in terms of money it's out of this world it's outlandish but it's a ponzi scheme because all they're doing is just pumping new money into it and digging a hole even worse so what you got to do here is make sure that you understand how to invest so that when they are inflating the price of things you are on the investor side of the equation and not only the consumer side and i want to just give you an example of how bad the united states has gotten themselves into debt by breaking it down into small bite-sized numbers i guess they're still big numbers but smaller than 33 trillion let's take a look we got 33 billion in debt added every single day not 1 billion 33 billion in debt added every single day it has paid nearly 3 billion in interest per day the debt service costed at its highest level since 2009 the recession the u.s paid an additional 150 billion in interest the deficit jumped over 300 billion and the u.s federal tax receipts now down 8.4 percent 
on a 12 month basis family we are getting smoked in terms of this debt that the united states have so we had to learn how to invest and speaking of investments there are two new stocks that you got to put on your watch list but i'll break them down for you nice quick and simple the first one is called instacart ticker symbol c-a-r-t what is going on with this one it's up 28 percent right it just ipo it just had its initial public offering where the public can buy shares you and me we're the public right now you ask yourself is this a good value at this current price so that's what we're going to get into when you look at the value of a company that is not yet profitable if it's profitable you look at the pe price to earnings and then that'll tell you hmm how are they earning compared to their peers but this one is not profitable yet they are bringing in money, right? They're a company, but they're spending more because they are in their growth phase where they are trying to outgrow their competitors like DoorDash or even Uber Eats, right? So this is one of those companies and I'll get into more of what it is, but it's basically a grocery delivery company. You could think of it in simple terms like that. So now the PE is not profitable, right? They're getting smoked. They're not earning any money, but they're in a growth phase. So we look at their price to sales, the PS in this case, and it's about 3.67 at the time of this recording. This is a new stock. It just came out. So that means this could change very drastically if it drops quickly or if it shoots up. Now, I want you to understand when things initially come onto the market, they shoot up oftentimes at first and then they slowly creep back down to a price that actually makes sense, right? Because the people who got in in 2012, in 2015, in 2017, the private equity owners, because they were able to buy it before you could, they looking to jump out and cash out, right? So then they often do that and it adds a lot of downward pressure on the stock. So you wanna be cautious with these IPO kind of trades. My people who've been investing and trading in 2021, you remember how IPOs were the plays. I'm talking about get in, make some money and then let it go. But if you hold on too long, you get smoked. But let's look at this because remember, I told you a long time ago that the yearly revenue or annual revenue times three is what the market cap should be as a rule of thumb, right? So now when you look at the price to sales, it's telling you the yearly revenue times what is the market cap. So in this case, it's times 3.67. So it's actually very close to fair value if they can maintain this level of revenue. So let's get into the details. It says this, that it did open up and it got to $42, right? Right now at the time of this recording, we can see that it's 38 and it might even drop more, but let's get into it. It opened at 42. And this is again, a grocery delivery company. And they're saying the whole company is $14 billion when it came out. But let's look at some of the details to see if it makes sense. It says right here that they are delivering for places like Kroger and Costco and various other places. So there is a demand for what they're offering, right? And when you think about it, they're kind of thinking ahead, like in the future, in terms of people want to automate things, people want to be, and it sounds crazy, but you know it's the truth more lazy people want to stay how do i stay at home how do i order a book for example how do i order a book and then i don't have to go to barnes and noble i don't have to go to a bookstore i don't have to go anywhere and it'll just come to me oh yeah what's coming to your brain is oh you can order that on amazon probably how do i order a new brush i'm, tr I'm growing my beard how do i order a new brush? order it on amazon oh so the world is trying to get away from you have to go into the place in order to get the things that you want. And also there's an accessibility, excuse me, there's an accessibility component where there are people who are less able, people who are older, people who may be disabled, people who may have lost some of their mobility and they can't walk around a grocery store right now. So then something like this is helpful to them. They're not telling you to buy, hold or sell. I'm here to give you all the facts on it. I want you to do your own research and I want you to be the judge at the end of the day. But in early 2021, this stock or this company, it says Instacart raised money at $125 a share. Right now it's 38, but in 2021, when it was on a private market, they were able to sell some of the shares to venture firms, right? And you can see some of the names right here, right? Uh, Sequoia Capital, we got, and I think I said that one right. If I said that one wrong, let me know in the comments, family. I haven't heard that one said out loud. We got uh, Andressen, I haven't heard that one said out loud either, but you got Fidelity and T. Rowe Price. You got many different kind of firms, right? Private equity firms who are loading up on this at 125. They must have saw, hmm, you know what? It makes sense to buy this here because we were in the pandemic and everybody was home. So then it made sense for them then. But that was a different time. 
everyone's not home anymore. So you want to temper your expectations with this one. So let's get into what they're actually earning. At $10 billion in market cap, right now they were at about 12 or 14. When they were at 42, the market cap, $42 a share, the market cap was basically 10 billion. But at 10 billion, Instacart is valued at 3.5 times annual sales, which is pretty close to something being reasonable, right? Because three is our rule of thumb. It's not an ironclad rule where you gotta follow it to the grave, but it's a rule of thumb. If you see something like 20 times sales, or 150 times sales or something crazy, then you might say, maybe this will come back down to something reasonable and then I can load up, right? You gotta think like an investor, not just a trader all of the time. So now they're saying that their competitors and they named them DoorDash, they said Uber Eats and things like that are their competitors. And their competitors trade at 4.25 times their earnings, meaning that they're trading at a higher valuation, meaning they're more expensive. The competitors are more expensive to earn you the same amount of money. So this means that at this level, at 3.5 or even 3.6, it makes sense if they can maintain this level of revenue. So then the company will grow and earn you money at a rate that their competitors can't keep up with. But we have to see if they can maintain it. Now, let's get over here. At $30 a share, then it would be that 10 billion. So that's what I wanted you to know and see. Right now, we're at 38. We can see that the price to sales is about 3.6. But at 30, over here, we got that 10 billion. And then we are where? 3.5% or 3.5 times sales, I'm sorry. $30 is a better price for this stock. That's the long and short of it. $30 is a better price to, for this stock if they can maintain the current amount of revenue that they are pulling in. And if the government doesn't do some BS and tell us, hey guys, you know what? The economy is great, which I've been seeing a lot of, but... My detector test determined that was a lie. Oh! Hey, man. <laughs> we coming up on an election year, so it is what it is. But I want to just go over here and just see this, too. Instacart again. Then I, again, I take screenshots. The price is moving up and down. Now it's 37. So now, the other one is called ARM. Ticker symbol A-R-M. You can see it right here. And what I want you to know about this is this one came out, and it got all the way up to basically $70. But then it did what came right on down to about 55. When these things IPO, they jump up. Everybody's excited. But then the people often, and sometimes there's a lockup period, but they could get out of their shares. They've been in it for a while. If there's no lockup period, keeping them locked in there for a while on a contract, they're going to let it go and sell it at a profit because they could have bought it at $5, for example, when it was early on. So then they want to take some profit on this. They've been waiting 10 years. So then you got to understand these new companies, they do oftentimes, not every time, but oftentimes they come back to some reasonable. Now, I want to say this. One of my dogs said, Keenan, I'm glad you made that Apple video yesterday. I got on some Apple calls and I can see that they are performing well. This one's up 19%. So shit, again, major, yo, major, major, major salute to my dog. I was about to get my note passes. Stop sleeping on Apple. Bop, 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 stop it. But you know what? That's love. And I got into a spy call with the Discord. And again, come join stock up. <laughs> hold up my dog larry jones hold up let me let me <laughs> come join the stock squad with larry jones keenan grace stocks with josh and stock mo we would love to have you over there so you can see when we actually get into plays see if we win see if we lose see if we make more money than we actually lose and you can actually literally watch how we do it family and learn and bump shoulders with the big dogs you know what i'm saying and it's not just us there are the big dogs in there too who we will all be in there and learning together you got to make sure you have a tribe of people who have similar goals to you so that when you want to be better, you say, this person is doing well. How do I pick up a piece of that and learn? This person is doing well. How do I pick up a piece of that and learn and build yourself up? So I love y'all. I appreciate y'all. The link will be in the top pinned comment if you scroll down and in the description. Stock Squad. Family, that's the Discord. I see you over there and take care.